part 3c. Nerdy regular verbs in the present tense. This is audio practice so that you can improve your listening skills in French. In the beginning, it may feel extremely hard. Go slowly and with time and with practice. Bien sûr, of course, you will improve and understand more and more French. C'est parti. And we're off. Numéro 11. Donne-la lui. Donne-la lui. Give it to her. It could also be give it to him. In this context, the lui can be to her or to him. If that's confusing, look up indirect object pronouns. Numéro 12. This is actually the imperative. The imperative mood is used for giving orders or making suggestions like do this or don't do that or Ooh, pass me the salt, will you? Here, the S has been dropped off, done, even though it's the to form, which nearly always takes an S. This only happens with ER verbs in the imperative mood, not the IR verbs, not the RE verbs, but for some very odd reason with the ER verbs. C'est la vie! Numéro 12. Je rêve de vivre en France. Or you could say, je rêve d'habiter en France. Je rêve de vivre en France. Je rêve d'habiter en France. I dream of living in France. Here you have two verbs. You have I dream, je rêve. You conjugate the first verb, meaning you say who is doing what, je, with rêve. Any consecutive verb will then be the infinitive, the te form, to live, which is either vivre or habiter. In English, we've got the ing, the ing, but in French, you need the infinitive as the next verb. Conjugate your first verb. Any consecutive verbs will be in the infinitive form. Numéro 13. Tu ne l'aimes plus? Tu ne l'aimes plus? Don't you love him anymore? This could also mean don't you love her anymore. The L apostrophe could stand for either le meaning him or la meaning her. Plus means not anymore or no longer. You replace pas with plus. So you don't love him would be tu ne l'aimes pas. But you don't love him anymore, you replace pas, you kick it away and replace it with plus. Tu ne l'aimes plus? Numéro 14. Vous restez combien de temps? Vous restez combien de temps? How long are you staying? So you could say, combien de temps vous restez? To say how long, the French say, how much of time? Combien de temps? And temps is one of those funny words where you only pronounce, I don't know, two letters. <laughs> temps. You do not hear the M, you do not hear the P, and you do not hear the S. Temps. E-M has the same pronunciation as E-N when it's in the same syllable. So it's en with a T in the beginning. Ton, 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 ton. Numéro 15. Je le trouve difficile à suivre. Je le trouve difficile à suivre.
I find it difficult to follow. It could mean I find him difficult to follow. L in this context can mean it, the thing you've just been talking about, or him. You can only ever use what we call pronouns, this little l here, if you've been talking about the it or the him previously. Otherwise, it would make no sense. Au quai de l'anglais en français. Number 11. We are addressing to and your it is feminine. Give it to her. Give it to her. Donne-la lui. Donne-la lui. There's a special order with pronouns and it changes when you use the imperative. It's worth spending, it would take you probably five minutes to learn the order. Number 12. I dream of living in France. I dream of living in France. Remember, the consecutive verb is the infinitive form, the t form in English. Je rêve de vivre en France. Je rêve d'habiter en France. Number 13, addressing to. Don't you love him anymore? Don't you love him anymore? Tu ne l'aimes plus? Tu ne l'aimes plus? Number 14, addressing vous. How long are you staying? How long are you staying? How much of time? Vous restez combien de temps? Vous restez combien de temps? So, no amming, no ising, no aring, so it's how long? It's you stay how much of time? You could even say how much of time you stay? Combien de temps vous restez? With a questioning voice and your eyebrows raised in a questioning way. Number 15. Masculine it. I find it difficult to follow. I find it difficult to follow. Masculine it. Je le trouve difficile à suivre. Je le trouve difficile à suivre. So in English, the it goes after the find, but in French, it goes before. Hmm. Annoying. <laughs> Très bien, bravo. Vous avez fini. You finished. There's part 3D coming up. Remember to do these a few times unless you found it super easy. If not, just do it a few times. It doesn't have to be perfect. Merci. Au revoir. Mouah, mouah, mouah.